Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to break down how to keep a close eye on your deployments using NVIDIA Triton Inference Server. This diagram gives us a fantastic overview of what's involved, so let's get started. So, here we see a setup for monitoring Triton server deployments. On the left, we have our client frontends, these are the different applications or services that are sending requests to our AI models. You might have multiple clients hitting your server. Below that, we see client devices, the actual devices making those requests, like phones, tablets, or laptops. They send requests and receive responses from our AI. The heart of our operation is the Triton Inference Server. This is where our AI models are actually running and serving predictions. Let's zoom in on what's happening inside. Triton exposes different APIs like gRPC and HTTP, which our client frontends use to communicate with it. These are the channels for sending requests and receiving results. Inside Triton, we often have dynamic batching. This is a smart feature where Triton can group together multiple incoming requests into a single batch before processing them. This can significantly improve efficiency and throughput, especially under high load. Triton also handles model loading. You can choose to load models selectively, only when they're needed, or completely, loading all models at startup. This affects resource usage and startup time. Requests then go into scheduler queues. Triton uses these queues to manage the incoming workload and ensure fair processing of all requests. You might have different queues depending on the model or priority. From the queues, the requests are routed to the appropriate backends. These are the actual execution engines that run your AI models. Triton supports various backends like TensorRT, ONNX Runtime, TensorFlow, and PyTorch, allowing you to deploy models trained in different frameworks. You can even target different hardware like GPUs and CPUs. Now, how do we monitor all this activity? Triton is great because it allows us to capture system metrics. This includes things like GPU utilization, CPU usage, memory consumption, and the health of the server itself. These metrics are crucial for understanding the overall performance and resource usage of your Triton deployment. This data is then fed into our monitoring system. Another vital aspect is latency metrics. This tells us how long it takes for a request to go from the client to Triton and for a response to be sent back. High latency can indicate bottlenecks or performance issues. Triton provides detailed latency information that is also sent to our monitoring system. Our AI models are stored in a model repository. Triton can load models from various storage locations, including local storage, Azure Blob Storage, or AWS S3. This makes it easy to manage and update your deployed models. Finally, we have our monitoring system. This is where all the captured system metrics and latency metrics are visualized and analyzed. You'll typically see graphs showing trends in resource usage, request rates, and latency over time. This allows you to identify potential problems, optimize performance, and ensure your AI deployments are running smoothly and efficiently. Thanks for watching.